shit getting kind of crazy. Now that I'm looking at it, this shit kind of wild. My shit up there. But yo, look. No, that's not. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna let that happen. But, uh, so I wanted to put something in the air real quick. You know? Three things happened today, and I'm gonna speak about all three things, right? Remind you guys, I cut my own hair too, just to let y'all know I cut my own hair. Um, but uh, no, I didn't go to school. I just looked in the mirror and was like, all right, use guard number one, guard number two, then guard number three, and then figure it out. But anyway, so um, three things I want to talk about today. First and most foremost, uh. There is someone out there with a fake Daylight Cash app. And it's like Daylight 2K1 or some shit. And the other day, a couple of fans said they sent, you know, some happy birthday shits to the wrong Cash app. And there is a nigga out there that's most definitely <laughs> scraping off some pennies off my name. Whoever that is, uh, more power to you. Uh... But to all my specific cash app is Daylight 2K, D-A-Y-L-Y-T 2K. Um, if you are sending anything coming my way, that's my official cash app. I'm going to put that out there. The third thing that I want to put out there is... Uh, shouts out to all the people in the world that are Aquariuses. To the other people... In the other world and the other signs, shouts out to y'all. I love y'all. Everybody have their role in life. But today specifically, shouts out to the Aquarius gang. If you are Aquarius, big shouts out to you. Squad, 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 squad. All right, I'll pin the cash app. There you go. All right, so shouts out to the Aquarius squad. Fuck with all my Aquarius brethren. Us Aquarian brethren are some very unique type of people. And uh, I think God specifically made us defected. Yeah, I said it. Aquarius niggas are defected. We have defects in our minds that don't cooperate with the setup of this uh, matrix. So shouts out to my team Aquarius. Is, we all know that we born complete. We like the nigga from iRobot. Like we just we just ain't gonna cooperate with how society works. Like so shouts out to my Aquarius gang. I love y'all. We out here, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. Um another thing that I wanna say that happened today, this morning. Uh this morning I was at the store. And right behind me, in the line, there was an older man. He looked like he was in his 70s, possibly 80s. Um, he was an older man. He's probably a black, black older man. Black older man in his 70s, possibly 80s. And that black older man looked at me. I looked back. He looked at me. He had like a disgusted face, first and most foremost. And then I was like, how you doing, sir? And he was, he was like, how you doing, young man? And he had a firm voice, like very firm. So I already knew where this was going. Remind you, I am a master in linguistics. I understand body language. I understand semiotics. I understand indexicality. I understand all these these things. So I knew where this was going. So what I was trying to do in the process of conversation was I was trying to white flag earlier. I hate that we call it a white flag because white people have tricked us into believing the white flag means peaceful when them niggas is the niggas that kill everybody. So the white flag should actually mean destruction. But bigger than that, I tried to white flag early to to humble myself because I'm like, I'm using my 48 laws of power. He already feel he in a leader position and he an older nigga than me and he got all the information. So let me let me lower let me lower myself. So I kind of bow my head and I'm like talking to him and like I'm lowering myself to you. And I'm like, yeah, you know, this is, how's how's life treating you? How's the weather? Uh, How's the weather? Um, How's the weather, sir? He was like, uh, fairly good, fairly good. And I'm like, damn, this nigga being real short. He been real short with his conversation. Like, I'm like, all right, he really ain't trying to talk to a nigga. All right, cool. So then go out. Can I ask you a question, young man? I go. 
Oh, yes, sir. Why? Wow. Yes, anything. Feel free. You go, why would you do that to your face? How are you going to get a job? Are you guys familiar with the character Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Are y'all familiar with that character? Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? <laughs> that was me at that moment. This nigga was inside. Daylight, let me get him. Let me get him. It's like, come on, it's just not today. Not today. Let me get him, Daylight. You know you want me to. You know we love violence. Let me get him. I said, no, no, no. Not, not today, man. Not today. We can talk our way out of this. Just let me, let me take it from you. He said, please, let me get him. I said, no, 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 no. Not today. We can talk our way out of this. We can talk. Let's just talk. So I go, how old are you, sir? I'm 76. Been on this planet a long time. I said, oh, so you was around when Martin Luther King and all them was alive. Damn right, I was there when he, I was, I seen when he got murdered. I said, you was around though. And you was around before they got mur murdered, right? Yes, sir, I watched all that happened. I seen X, Y, Z. So I said, you was around when racism was effectively in the street. I go, yep, I sure was. I seen it happen. And I said, you ain't do nothing. You didn't kill one clan member. You didn't do nothing. He looked at me. I said, yeah, you was around. In the midst of all the fuckery. And you ain't do nothing. So you know what, sir? Is niggas like you while we in the conditions that we in now. It's old niggas like you while we in the conditions that we in now. Because you niggas settled. You settled. You say, you know what? I'm going to just get my little piece and go in the house. It's niggas like you. It's people like you. You a Judah. You a Judah type nigga. It's, it's y'all. It's all you niggas that was okay with the cage. He was looking at me. I said, you know what? You probably read the Bible every day. You look like a nigga that go to church, huh? You still waiting on Jesus' blessing, huh? He was just sitting there glitching. I said, look, old man. You went from a sir to an old man. Now I'm getting real disrespectful, but sorry for calling you old man. But look, you got about 20 more years to live probably less than that because i see the shit in your car you got some prescription pills a couple of, you got about about 15 more years to go i hope you live the nice life as a pussy nigga your whole life you've been a pussy from the from a child to now you've been a pussy and you're gonna die a pussy and your children gonna die pussies too because you carry the bloodline of a nigga that was okay with the cage and you still is okay with the cage, you suck ass nigga. I should beat you. You know what? Hey man, let me get my receipt, man. I'm up out of here. And that's how my morning started. That's how my morning started. My morning started just like that. It ain't funny, but it's the truth. And I'm a lot of people. I'm gonna tell you like this. A lot of old niggas be asking for respect. And a lot of old people are asking my old respect to elders. I respect the no nigga that's the subject. I'm sorry. So if niggas be like, when I used to ride the bus and it's like, yo, get up for the elder. No. I'm not, my nigga. I'm tired too. Nigga, you had 60, 70 years on this planet. You already had a good time. Nigga, take your ass back to the back. Oh, God, I'm tired. I'm, I'm young. I need a little bit of break too. But bigger than that, right?
Or they just gonna glitch Change affinity, huh? Y'all see what's happening, right? Y'all see what's happening, right? It's cool. It's cool. Nigga trying. Trying. But Pete, right? So there's another thing that I want to say. Right? This morning, a fan hit me up and asked me this recent question. The fan said, Daylight, aren't you afraid that the government going to try to assassinate you for speaking on the things that you speak of? Listen, guys. A fan asked me, am I afraid that someone's going to kill me for speaking on the things that I speak of? And why don't look? I want to say this loud and clear, and I'm gonna say this to the maximum time, and I'm gonna say it for the infinitest of times. I speak on what I speak on because the government ain't gonna kill niggas like me. The government ain't looking for niggas like me. I'm not worried about no KKK killing me. I'm not worried about no motherfucking white person killing me. I'm not worried about no secret U.S. Navy SEAL. I'm not worried about none of them niggas killing me. Because they ain't going to kill me. Those ain't the niggas that's on my bumper. You know who I'm worried about? Some random ass hood nigga trying to prove he a gangster. That's the fuck I'm worried about. Those are niggas that kill your ass for talking like this. You know, we live in the era where we live in the we come from a place where knowledge is the worst enemy. Smart niggas get smoked. Knowledge is the worst enemy. Knowledge. Niggas be like, hey, that nigga over there reading on oh, God, giddy. Knowledge. When you too smart around a bunch of dumb niggas, nigga, they uh, oh. Yeah, that's how I work. I ain't worried about no clan. I ain't worried about none of them. I walk in a room full of clan members. <laughs> How y'all do it? It ain't them that I'm worried about. I'm worried about the niggas. When I drive through LA, nigga, I have my seat way back. Oh, God. I ain't worried about no random uh, governments and things. That ain't it. The niggas The niggas will knock your ass off For trying to be too smart I had a homie hit me up And said this Let me tell y'all Homie Homie from my neighborhood Hit me up Out of nowhere Nigga I ain't never spoke to him I ain't spoke to I, I'm sorry I spoke to him but Nigga I ain't spoke to him years Nigga hit me up and said Nigga think he all smart and all that. I see you, though. I replied, what the fuck that mean? And the nigga just put a bunch of grapes in the thing. And said, you know what it is over here. I said, what the fuck does that mean? I didn't get it. I, I didn't get it. So I said, "Hey, hey, homie, call me, man. I'm, I'm, you know, my, I might be a little confused through text, like the text messages. You know, it, I may be taking things the wrong way. You might be congratulating the nigga on the battle or something. I, you know, I ain't been in the hood in a long time, so my hood transfer lingo might be off a little bit. Uh, you know, niggas is growing into different things. I was like, I don't really know what's going on." God, I sent my number. Hey, hit me, man. Let me see. Let me know what's the deal. Boo, hit me. Oh, God, he never called. Never called. 
never. I said. Then I kept replying. What's the deal, homie? What you on? Then the message just keeps saying seen. Nigga just keeps seen. Like seen. Seen. I reply about four more, five more times. Seen. Seen. No reply. I said, all right. I know what it is then. Knowledge is kind of crazy. When you start waking up and you start trying to look, be honest with you. When you start waking up and you start trying to fix the neighborhood, you start to realize the demons. When you start waking up and getting on this path to like mental freedom, you start to realize the demons is real. So I'm going to go deeper than, I'm going to go into a deep meaning just for y'all to know. Everybody claiming they thugging. Listen, all these niggas claiming they really thugging. You know what the word thug means? Do anybody in here know the origins of the word thug? It literally means demon. Do anybody know this? The word thug, the etymology and origin of the word thug is demon. So when niggas say they thugging, and niggas say they on demon time, it all makes sense. It make 100% sense. 1,000% sense. That's exactly what it was. Thug. Niggas is on demon time. Niggas is really on demon time. For real, for real, for real, for real, for real. So it's crazy. Peep this. Let me tell you how, how fucked up shit is. So when you start waking up and you start trying to preach positivity, all the white people get on your side. But you, it's weird. Let me, this is shit I be going through. I be like, all right, I want to stand up for my people. But when I be like black power and, and this is what we need to get together, all the white fans be hitting me like, yeah, they like, you know, shit fucked up, man, but I'm with you, brother. And then all the black people try to kill you. Yo, it's crazy. It's crazy. All the white niggas be support. Hey, I remember one time I had this meeting. I had set up a meeting where I was like, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get a bunch of my fans together so we could push for, you know, black unity. But I forgot. I don't really have that many black fans. I, I forgot. I don't, I don't have that many black fans. You know, most of my fans are uh, white. Cause I don't make music for black people. I don't. I don't make nothing that black people can relate to, in the space of niggerdom. Did that make sense? I don't make nothing that black people can relate to in the space of niggerdom. I don't make music about drinking, smoking, killing, or none of that. I don't. So most black people in urban communities be like, hey, I don't. I, he don't got nothing for me to listen to. So I thought. My, in my mind, I thought I was black, so I had black fans. I was like, oh, yeah, my black nigga's going to pull up. Nigga, I'm from the hood. Man, I got to the motherfucking barbecue, man. That shit looked like the 70s hippie show. Oh, God, I thought we was in that 70s show. Hey, Daylight, brother. I was like, peace be on you. Oh, God, I said, oh, shit. I need to make some ratchet music to get the homies. Oh, my mama it was a bunch of niggas in there, hippies. Oh, God. I said, we're with you, brother. I said, damn, it ain't no, none of the homies came. No, but the thing is this, right? Look, real nigga shit, you ain't gonna get no black people, you don't make no nigger to music. 
And I don't make nigga the music. I don't like nigga the music. It hurt my heart when I try to make it. I be making them. I be making nigga the music. But it be just hurting my heart when I make nigga the music. And I don't never put it all the way out. But um, but for the most part, when you start waking up and you start really getting on the, the path to trying to save the people, it be the niggas that you trying to save that'll kill you. You know how they say you see somebody drowning, you got to make that decision. Do you jump in there and try to save them? Or do you let them drown? Because sometimes a drowning nigga could drown you. All that trying to climb on the water and climb out your head, a drowning nigga could save, a drowning nigga could drown you. That's a question, that's a, that's a thing you got to ask yourself. Every time, that's the thing I ask myself every time I wake up. Yo, shout out to this falcon that sits outside of my window every day. Look at my boy Horace. On God, he be checking on me. Every time I get live, on God, he sit outside my window. Ain't no nests or nothing right there. He just sit outside my window every morning go, my boy Horace be coming to check in on me, boy. What's the deal, my boy Hero? Hey, we lit. Every morning, every single morning, nigga come sit right there and do his. Arr! My boy be coming to check on me on God, Horace. Anywho. But real shit. Now I, I look at stuff like that. Like that might mean something. My nigga ain't no motherfucking uh, falcons over here. Oh God, that nigga just come. Ain't nothing for him over here. It just come sit right there every day. But um, on the flip side, look. Uh, no, nah, I know it is, my nigga. I it, it gotta be some special shit. But you know, that's that's a whole nother conversation. But no, nah, more the story is what I'm saying is look. It be your own kind that you got to worry about the most. And that's a painful thing because it's like you want to help, but you know that type of helping comes with a specific consequence. The enemy is, the enemy is never going to look opposite. The enemy is going to always look your color. It's easier. It's easier, very easier. A lot of people on the payroll, man. I'm going to say this loud and clear. A lot of people on the payroll, bro. A lot of niggas is on the payroll, bro. A lot. A lot of people is on. The, all these niggas that did super crimes and they out fast niggas supposed to do 25 and got out in two and threes and shit like that niggas on the payroll so a nigga gotta be careful that's why I be like man it's alright man I don't even it is what it is but bigger than that so the last thing that I want to talk about before I go I'm gonna say this loud and clear Takashi 69 PR team was hitting up everyone asking everyone that they would pay to do a PR stunt. They asked me, could they pay me XYZ to do a PR stunt with Takashi 69 in Watts? I rightfully declined. And many other artists rightfully declined. Two weeks after that, I seen XYZ in the video with 69. And the video clearly looks like a spoof. Clearly. I said, damn, this nigga took the money. Sucker. <laughs> Fucking sucker. Now, in my mind, I'm like, I know niggas is big time artists. But damn, I know the show's not popping. Y'all niggas hurting that bad? You can't be hurting that bad. I mean, the show, I know you ain't been doing no shows recently, but... You should have some type of leftover money where you should say no. Shh. 
shit crazy in these rap streets, bro. Shit crazy in these rap streets, bro. Crazy. Shit crazy in these rap streets, bro. And the fucked up part about it is they buying it. They buying this shit, bro. They buying it. They really buying it. People like, oh, they got into an altercation. Two niggas with their phones back and forth, faking like they. Yo, this shit. Yo, this rap game is spooky, bro. Bro, this rap game is spooky. Spooky. It's spooky, bro. Wrestling. WWF, dog. It's spooky. But I just watch it. I just watch it and I'm like, you know what? That's why. That's why I be. I, I maneuver how I maneuver in this game, dog. See, niggas don't ask questions no more. Niggas don't. How, how was they even in the same spot? <laughs> niggas said, all right, on the count of three, press record. All right, go. Said, fuck you. Nigga, fuck you. Let me at him. Nigga, fuck you. Let me at him. I said, look at this goofball shit. This shit goofball. <laughs> but, yay, yeah, nigga took the bag, man. It is what it is, man. I don't blame him, man. Fuck it. Fuck it, man. It is what it is, man. Nigga took the bag. Other than that, um, shouts out to everybody that is preserving the culture. Shouts out to everybody that still takes lyricism serious. Or lyricism serious. Shouts out to everybody who raps with a message and a meaning. Shouts out to everybody that is pushing to better this planet and pushing to better Earth. Shouts out to everybody that's just pushing to better themselves. Shouts out to y'all because, like I said prior, I feel like we're just in the era where all the fuck niggas and fuckery is gonna come to light. We can see now. Everything looks like a goof now. Everybody, all these niggas look like goofs. And it's cool. It's all cool. Look, the goofy shit is all up front. And I can't lie. I did a lot of goofy shit in my career. But it was all to show y'all that these are the real goofy niggas. But all the goofy niggas, all the goof shit is there now. It's all being seen right in front of our eyes. All the wolves and the illusions that was over niggas' eyes, it's all being seen. It's there, right? The circus is, is open. The circus is open. It's open. And y'all can see it with your own eyes now. And now that the circus is open, I just went back to doing what I did before the circus was closed. Which is rapping for real. You know? Let's see what we got there. Probably play something for y'all real quick. Hold on, let me see.
Oh, what's we dropping this in a couple of weeks? Well, not even a couple of weeks. But... Oh, are you feel that? Uh huh. The air feel different up here. Breathe. What y'all doing down there? I ain't really saying that nigga though. What y'all doing down there? I can't see it, but I will. Yeah. Damn, what you niggas doing down there? What y'all doing down there? Let me get him top. I kill rock for my nigga rock. Get the paper, scissor, watch. Watch, scissor, roly, feel different when your mission rap Mowgli. I'm fresh up out the jungle booking. Niggas looking shook and hear them jungle sounds. It be crickets when I come around. Niggas look Gemini, necklace, stones on infinity gauntlet. I hand choose, respect the flow and the imagery. Nonsense, man, move is cool. Maximum.